Namaste everybody, welcome to the Yoga Candy YouTube channel. My name is Candice and today I've got an intermediate class. It's not going to be minimal cues but I'm not going to be cueing too much so I'm sure this will be suitable for very strong beginners and yoga teachers and anybody who just wants to give it a shot um, if you feel that you're quite flexible and you know yoga fairly well. So today's class is going to be great for times when you're feeling a little stressed. There's going to be a lot of beautiful hip openers so it's going to be great for releasing tension from the body as well as from the mind. We're going to have a lovely pranayama at the end of the class and this is also going to be a really good class for those of you who perhaps do a lot of sitting in the day whether that means that you work um, in an office or you do a lot of driving or you just have maybe like me like you've got a toddler you do a lot of sitting around with your toddler playing and you know, making sure they're safe really. So you probably don't do a lot of full-blown physical activity. This is gonna be a really great class for you to open up their hips. And also there's gonna be a little bit of power in there as well, but it's majority a pretty calming, stress-relieving class. So I really hope you enjoy it. You don't need any props. If you would like some, feel free to grab some blocks or, um, yeah, blocks will be handy today if you are not so open in the hips and things and you know how to use those if you're a little more experienced. Um, and yeah, without further ado guys, I hope you enjoy it. So let's begin. All right, everybody, starting off in a wide-legged child's pose. Engaging the ujjayi breath. Now engaging the pelvic floor by ballooning the belly on the inhale and hugging the belly button back and sucking up through the pelvic floor on the exhale. Inhale, balloon. Exhale, contract. Walking the hands to the left, take a grip of the right wrist. Dropping the right armpit towards the floor. And then taking it to the other side.
back to center, taking three cat cows. And into rabbit pose. Coming back to the heels, finding side body stretches. And finding a little dance, just waving over from side to side. Taking it into plank, finding a bounce forwards and back. And downward facing dog. Jump forward, forward fold, half lift, and fold. Rolling all the way into mountain and taking it down into your chair pose. Taking three deep breaths. Fold. Half lift. And jump chaturanga into downward facing dog. Lifting your right leg, let's take lizard pose on the right side. You may want to open up through the hip and use your right arm to push the hip open, sinking low. Straighten the front leg for a lovely hamstring stretch. And then step into a wide-legged forward fold. Half lift and fold. Rolling all the way to standing. And heel toe your feet back together. 
mountain. Inhale up, fold. Half lift. And taking a vinyasa. Down the facing dog. Lifting the left leg, stepping it over into lizard on the left side. Maybe opening up the hip, the knee, sorry, and pushing it open with the same hand, with the left hand. Plunge your hand back, step the right foot forward, coming down for yogi squat, malasana. Taking it up, wide-legged forward fold. Maybe interlace your fingers behind your spine and allow them to fall up and over for a shoulder stretch. Half lift and fold. Jump your feet together and roll your spine up into mountain. Inhale the hands back up and fold. Half lift. Step your right leg back and take a hamstring stretch on the left side this time. In a pyramid type pose. Step to plank. And let's take a vinyasa. Down facing dog. Taking yourself down to the ground, open the knees wide and coming into frog pose. Knees in line with hips, feet in line with knees. And you can always rest all the way down onto your chest. Opening the arms to cactus or staying up on the fingertips if you would prefer to. Breathe deeply, allow your hips to open up. Pushing yourself back up, make your way to plank. 
and downward facing dog. Jump, forward fold, half lift and fold. Roll all the way into mountain, hands overhead, taking chair pose. Back to your mountain, taking standing pigeon, lift, left leg, leg on top of the right. Come on up, extend the left leg and into your warrior three. High lunge. Taking your right hand to the left knee, taking a back bend. Back to high lunge. Sink low, coming into a runner's lunge. And into your pyramid pose on the right side. Back to runner's lunge and take a vinyasa. Meet me in down dog, three breaths. Jump to forward fold. Half lift. Fold. Into mountain. Taking a chair pose. Back to mountain, hands overhead, taking a standing pigeon, right leg on top of the left, Stand up tall, right leg extends into warrior three. High lunge. Taking a reverse back bend. So left arm to the right leg. Back to high lunge and down to a runner's lunge. Into a pyramid pose.
back to your runner's lunge and take a vinyasa. Meet me in down facing dog. Taking Gomokasana cow face pose, left leg forward. And the right hand up and over the head. Start to take a twist over to the left, releasing the arms. Back to center. Start to make your way up and keep twisting over to the right so you end up in a forward fold. Interlace your fingers behind your back and allow them to fall up and over your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And continue to turn, 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 so that your right leg is on top this time. Back into our Gomokasana cow face pose. This time the left hand goes up and over the ear, taking the Gomokasana arms. Releasing the arms and start to twist to the right. Now make your way into a standing position, twisting back into a wide-legged forward fold. Exhale down. Maybe you can get the top of your head to sit on the ground. And then bend your legs back into, back into your frog pose with your knees in line with hips, feet in line with knees. You can always come all the way down, resting into this beautiful hip opener.
come on out and come up all the way to your hands so you're almost creating a bit of a back bend and maybe just move your hips backwards and forwards just getting a little deeper into the hips if this is possible for your body and then draw your heels together and sit back in hero pose knees together heels wider than hips Sit up tall, extend your arms either sides and take them down to the ground, locking the elbows and drawing the shoulders down. Just taking some neck stretches here in our hero pose. So gently rolling your head from shoulder to shoulder. Now roll your head to the left, keep your right hand where it is and just bring your left hand to the head, rest it on top for extra resistance, feeding that stretch. And then take your gaze to the floor, look down towards your, towards your left toes. And then release the head, roll your head to the right, taking the right hand and rest it on top. Keep your left fingertips on the ground and your elbow locked. Take your gaze towards your right toes. You can close your eyes. Release the head and just give your neck a couple more rolls. Just from side to side, you can take your hands to your lap Come on up to the knees and make your way into a comfortable seated position. Sit up tall through the spine and we're going to do humming bee breath. So I'm going to explain it once and then you guys can continue the breath with me for 10 breaths. So we're going to close our eyes and we're going to place our index finger and our, our middle finger over our eyes. And we're going to use our thumbs to cover our ears. So just press onto the ears. Don't put much pressure on the eyes. Just very gently place the hands on there. And we're going to make a, a B sound on every exhale. So we're going to take really deep inhales. And on the exhale, we're going to go. Mm. OK, so middle finger, index finger over the eyes gently blocking the ears and making your hum sound. Take a big inhale. Make your exhales very long, nice humming long sound and no pressure on the eyes. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Let's take 10 together.
release your hands. You may have found that there was a bit of tension in your shoulders just from doing that. So let's extend the left hand, uh, the right hand, take it to the floor. Just drop your head towards the left. Slowly take the hand off the ground, point the fingertips towards the sky and lift the hand in line with the shoulder. And then back down again. Roll your head to the opposite side. Extend through the left fingertips, place them on the ground, lock the elbow. Lift the fingertips off the floor, paint, point them to the sky and start to gently and slowly lift the arm in line with the shoulder. And then very slowly lower it back to the floor. Finding a couple of neck rolls once again. Changing the position of the legs. Let's just end with a nice meditation together. I'll just be here with you for total silence for two minutes before we end with three ohms. You can end it as, as whenever you want to end your meditation. You can continue for longer if you would like to. Sit up tall, tops of the hands to the knees, palms face the sky. Return to your natural breath and allow all, your your, all of your thoughts to pass. Stay in the moment, be in the now. Listen to the breath. Okay, we'll chant three arms together.
take your hands to your heart center and bow your head. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you today. Namaste, everybody. You can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And guys, I just honestly, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, do let me know in the comments below if you have any future class requests and also just let me know where you've practiced from, who you are, how long you've been practicing. I'd love to know that. Um, until next time, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're continuing to meditate, then please do continue to enjoy this present moment. Until next time, namaste.